Today's video, we're going to look at creating flow modes with your Windows 7, 8, 10, and Veronica series 4000, 4040, and 4020 software. Last week, we looked at how to create concentration modes and edit them. Uh, flow modes are very much the same, so today we're going to take a quick look at that. It's important to have already set up your unit, so if you're watching our earlier videos, we'll show you how to do that, how to import your system's data, how to create the cylinders, uh, how to uh, create a profile, and how to attach those cylinders to the profile. So those steps have already been completed here, and we're going to jump right into a flow mode. So you begin on the left-hand side of the screen by clicking on Flow. Uh, it's possible that when you open, your system will look like that. Uh, if you look at this little drop-down here, that's what will show you these modes. So make sure that you've opened up that drop-down. Click on Flow Mode and Add. First step will be to add a given name to the mode, and that can be anything that helps you to identify it. Uh, I'm just going to call it the very generic Blend 1. Down below, you can see the list of your cylinders with this drop down, and it shows you which physical port they're connected to. Uh, I've connected something to each of the first four ports on my unit, and I'm, you can put as few or as many um, cylinders in a mode as you need. So you could have flow mode that was just nitrogen, like this, or you could add additional. So for the first one, let's go ahead and add, um, add three. We'll add our CO2, our nitrogen, and our SO2. Once all of the gases cylinders are, are added to your flow mode, you'll need to add the target flows. In this case, my nitrogen flow controller is a 5 liter. So if I try and put anything above that, such as 6 liters, it's going to not let me do that. It's going to default back to zero. So let's put this at 5,000 5, cc's. If you wanted to change it to liters, you can actually double click on the units and change it from cc's to liters if you desire. My second flow controller, I'm going to say we'll do that at 2 liters, and my third, my SO2, we'll do it at 200 cc's. Once these are all inputted, you can see here it'll show you not only which port, which you've assigned, but also which MFC. So for 4000, this would be the same uh, in most cases. For 4040 or 4020, though, the unit will assign the correct MFC determined by which flow you select. So for example, right now, port 2 is using MFC 2 for the 2 liters, and we're using MFC3 for the 200 cc's. But if we change the flow so that the carbon dioxide is flowing at 100 cc's, and the SO2 is flowing at 2 liters, here, you'll see that, MF that port 2 is now using MFC3, and port 3 is now using MFC2. So once you have everything entered here as you want it, you simply click Save, and the flow mode is saved here as Blend 1. To edit, click on the pencil, then make any changes you need to make. Let's say I want to make the flow from nitrogen four liters. And then again, click Save. So pretty simple. If you want to copy, so say I need to make a very similar uh, flow mode to this, I would select the mode that I want to copy, click the Copy button. And for example, let's say I want the same thing but without any carbon dioxide. I would simply clear that line that I've selected and save. Oh. You're going to duplicate names are not allowed. Give it a new name and click Save. The last button here on the top would be the, would be the Delete button. So select the flow mode that you want to delete, click Delete, and then just confirm that you want to delete that particular mode. In order to run a flow mode, you select the mode you want, and you click the Start button. Once you've done that, you'll see the last timer will begin. You'll hear your unit begin to flow uh, when you're done simply click on the stop button. Thank you for watching this video. We hope it was helpful for you. Follow our blog for more information on using our newest software or call or email us if you have any questions.